When we experience attraction to someone or enter into a relationship, we often believe we have found our true love, soulmate, or twin, however, there are seven distinct stages in a twin flame relationship that can help identify this transformative connection. It's crucial to first understand the connection between twin souls, which is fundamentally an energy bond. Twin souls share the same energy component, with matching vibrational frequencies. According to belief, these souls were originally part of the same sphere of pure energy. Following the division of the sphere into two, the souls were separated for millennia, drawing bits of energy from others in each life they lived. Consequently, there are specific stages that twin souls must undergo to reunite. In contemporary times, an increasing number of twin soul relationships are observed, with the mission to reunite and serve as examples of unconditional love. Their purpose extends to leading a healthy, abundant life and contributing to humanity by fostering positive vibrations ultimately creating a new earth grounded in values, virtues, and love. However, achieving union requires each soul to evolve and shed the accumulated baggage of numerous lives, returning to the pure energy they shared initially. This is where the seven twin flame stages come into play. The initial stage involves a mutual desire for each other, with twin souls sensing each other's presence and communicating telepathically before physical contact. The recognition or wake-up phase follows, characterized by a soulful connection, a feeling of familiarity, and synchronicity events, leading to the opening of the heart chakra. Subsequently, the testing stage emerges, marked by a temporary disappearance of spiritual awakening, and a resurgence of the ego. One or both souls attempt to fit the relationship into the conventional model of love, leading to internal conflicts. Doubts arise, and the purpose of this phase is to bring outdated beliefs to the surface for elimination, allowing the twin souls to reclaim their original pure energy. Crisis. The third stage among the twin flame phases is characterized by a crisis, wherein egotistical beliefs regarding love and relationships are challenged. Surrendering the ego and shedding the false identity rooted in desires and beliefs to embrace a more elevated form of love can evoke resistance and anxiety. Fear may dominate giving rise to various common dysfunctional emotions. Despite seemingly conflicting perceptions, this phase can be viewed as a ritual that solidifies existing love and elevates the consciousness levels within the energy of both flames. Fugitive thoughts. The accumulated tension between twin souls can either fortify their union or lead to its temporary unraveling. This stage is marked by potential frustrations and a strong inclination to terminate the union. Temporary separations or periods of silence may be sought to reflect on the significance of the union and its chances of endurance. The success of the union hinges on the emotional maturity of those involved. If one partner requires additional time for personal growth, a temporary rupture may occur, paving the way for eventual reconciliation. Surrender. At this juncture, the twin souls relinquish their wishes and desires to the hands of divinity, trusting completely that their union will endure. They also acknowledge their mistakes, recognizing the ego as the primary obstacle to their complete happiness. Consequently, open discussions about plans and wounds ensue, aiming to reconcile differences. Compassion's frequency returns and persists, two become one. In this stage, the ego dissolves, yielding control to the divine force and prompting a profound spiritual awakening. The twin souls radiate divine love, transcending mere romantic love. Partners entrust their emotions, minds, and spirits to divinity, attaining soulful maturity. New creative and healing abilities emerge, including forgiveness, flexibility, complicity, passion, and patience. After traversing all seven twin flame stages, 
The two souls begin to think and act as one. Are you among the fortunate souls who have encountered their twin? If so, kindly share your experiences with the twin flame stages, contributing to the collective understanding and aiding others in identifying their soulmates. Eating one's twin flame is considered a rare and profound experience, and navigating through the seven stages of this unique journey can be both challenging and enlightening. The crisis stage, as the third in the series, serves as a crucible for the twin souls, demanding a release of egotistical attachments to conventional notions of love and relationships. It's a transformative phase where the courage to transcend the ego and embrace a higher understanding of love is met with resistance and anxiety. Despite the tumultuous emotions, this crisis can be seen as an essential rite of passage, solidifying the connection between the twin flames and fostering heightened levels of consciousness within their shared energy. The fugitive thoughts stage brings a dynamic interplay of tension, with the potential to either strengthen the bond or temporarily drive the twin souls apart. Frustrations may surface, prompting a strong inclination to terminate the union. Temporary separations and periods of introspection become integral, allowing both partners to contemplate the profound meaning of their union and evaluate its potential for enduring growth. The surrender stage marks a pivotal shift as the twin souls willingly relinquish their individual desires, placing unwavering trust in the hands of divinity. Acknowledging mistakes and recognizing the ego as a hindrance to complete happiness, open and honest communication becomes the bridge to reconciliation. Compassion resurfaces, weaving its frequency into the fabric of their connection. Finally, the two become one stage signifies the culmination of this transformative journey. The dissolution of the ego allows the divine force to take control leading to a complete spiritual awakening. At this point, the twin souls emanate not just romantic love, but a divine love that transcends earthly boundaries. Entrusting their entire being to divinity, they attain a profound level of soulful maturity, cultivating new capacities for forgiveness, flexibility, complicity, passion, and patience. After traversing these seven stages, the twin souls harmoniously merge into a unified existence, thinking and acting as one. For those who have experienced the profound connection of twin flames, sharing their insights and experiences becomes a valuable contribution to the collective understanding of this extraordinary journey.